welcome to On Track TV. In this lesson, I'm going to be going over the align panel. So the align panel is when you're working with many shapes on a page and you want a little bit of control and guidance when aligning them in relation to one another. So we have a document open here with a bunch of different squares and the first thing I want to do is open up that align panel. And so where you're going to find that is you click on the Windows menu drop down and you go down to where it says align, you open it up and here we have the align panel. And I want you to click on this little drop down on the side and click on show more options because some of these options at the bottom that we're going to also be working with could be hiding. Okay, so up they pop open. And so what this does is it sort of, you select the shapes that you want to work with and then you align them in these different ways. So as you can see here, this is going to horizontally align them to the left, there's a line there. Line them in the center, line them on the right, line them up above, line them below. So there's kind of lines here that show you in correspondence to what side you're going to align them to. So let's kind of just start aligning and it'll make more sense. So I'm going to select one and I'm going to hold down the shift key and select the three at the top and it starts to highlight them. And what I want to do is align them all at the very, very top so that they're straight in a line at the top. And so what we're going to do is we're going to click on this one right here that aligns vertical top. You click it and as you can see, they each get lined up with one another. All right. Now, let's do the same thing with the ones on the side. You do the same thing by selecting it, then holding down the shift key and selecting all three. And now we need to look for an option where it aligns it vertically to the left. So we're gonna look for one on the side here and there it is right here, horizontal align left. You click it and they automatically align themselves. Now there is one catch with this align tool. When you are aligning them, it takes the shape that is the farthest to the side that you're aligning it to and brings the rest that way. So for example, when I selected these three shapes here, this one was the farthest to the left. So it brought each this one and this one to the left with it. But you do have the option to choose which shape is dominant. So it doesn't have to, you don't have to follow the default, right? So the default is always gonna be the one that's furthest to the right, but you do have the option to double click it. And as you can see, there's a blue line around it and it's now going to choose this one to be the dominant one. In other words, it's gonna keep that one where it is and make these two move around it. So as you can see, we've aligned these all at the top here and we've aligned them all on the side, but there's different spaces between each of them and we wanna make those the same. So that's where we're going to work with distribute spacing in this little box here. And it's grayed out because you need to select a shape and choose a dominant shape before you are able to use this option. So let's highlight these three shapes and it's still grayed out. So we're gonna select one that we want to be dominant and I want this one to be the dominant one because it's where I want it to be and I want the other two to move around it. And then what we're going to do is we're gonna choose one inch and we can either choose horizontal or vertical since these are going vertical, vertical's option. And you click it and as you can see, it spaced each one out an inch away, okay? Now let's do the same thing with the ones along the top. Once again, choosing this is my dominant one with the blue line around it and making it one inch apart from each other. Let's then go through each of these bottom ones, holding them down like this, distribute the spacing, choosing your dominant one, never forgetting to choose the dominant one, vertical spacing just like so. And then we'll choose these three as well. Choose the dominant one, vertical spacing again. All right? And we also need to align these ones to the right properly as well. So let's choose to the right just like so. And we'll select these three as well. This is our dominant one, align them to the right. And just like so, all of them are aligned with each other perfectly in a row. All right, so this is how you can use your alignment panel. It is very helpful to keep everything perfectly organized and in shape and in a row. So thank you so much for tuning into this lesson, and I will see you in the next one.